Hillbilly DVD reviews, your boy the goat. It's a very exciting day today. Almost about six years ago to the day, I got this TV. Uh, it looks all shitty and dirty right now because the sun's on it, but I love this TV. It's got a great fucking picture. 42 inches, 1080p. Fucking awesome. I love it. But it was time to fucking step up. Step up to a big boy. So here we go. Here's the new TV. Panasonic Plasma TCP60 ST60. That's the new one. Panasonic, man, they've really been knocking it out of the park with the plasmas lately. This year's model for the value for the money. The reviews have been off the hook. The main reason I wanted to upgrade from an LCD set was the black level. Good on the LCD, but much, much better on a plasma. And this year's is supposed to be even better than even just last year's model. So I almost bought last year's model, but. I'm glad I weighed it. This one's got all the bells and whistles. This ain't the most expensive Panasonic that they make, but it's not like the cheap, cheap one either. Got all kinds of shit you can do on it. Netflix, Hulu Plus, YouTube, all that bullshit. I can watch myself. I can watch my own hillbilly bullshit on my TV. That's great. 3D motherfuckers. Comes with two pairs of classes. Fucking love it. That's another reason. You know, I wanted... The number one reason I wanted a bigger screen. When I moved into this apartment here... Fucking, as you can see, my 42 inch was huge in my old small apartment, but here, man, this fucking wall is huge, and the TV just looks small. During nighttime, when it's dark, it, it don't matter too much, but yeah, during the day, it just looks small against that big, you know, white wall. So I had to get a fucking bigger screen. Here we go. All right, here we go. Here's actually the stand here. I kind of jumped ahead and put it together. It came in three pieces. The bottom part was a piece, this middle part was a piece, and this top part, you just have to screw them all together. Kind of sucks that, you know, whatever, you got to put that together, <laughs> but that's how TVs are now. On the bottom here, I don't know if you can see it, but it says uh, 58, 65, 55, 60. I guess that means that this is the stand that Panasonic uses on all the TVs of that size. So pretty much this stand is what you get, like, I guess, within this product line or whatever. Maybe they have a stand for other different model numbers, but pretty much you buy ST60. This is what you want to get, no matter what the size, I suppose. Here we have the power cord, three-prong deal, man, serious voltage. This part plugs in the back of the TV, yada, yada, yada. Here we have the 3D glasses, this being the first year that Panasonic actually puts the 3D glasses in with the TV before you always had to buy it separately and shit. Pretty cool. I took a pair out here. I tried them on, they're pretty light, pretty, you know, pretty good feeling actually, actually really comfortable. People say like, oh, active glasses are so much heavier than the, you know, the theater ones and stuff. And usually they are, like my PlayStation uh, display glasses are pretty heavy, get, get, but this this shit is light, man. You put this on your face, I don't think you're going to really notice it during the running time of the movie. Also, these type of glasses, these aren't the kind that you plug into a USB port. They actually use a little coin battery. These things are real cheap, you can get them real cheap, but basically when it runs out, you pop this thing off, put the new coin battery in there. So, yeah, fucking little batteries for your... 3D glasses, motherfucker. All right, here's what's coming in the little bag inside. You got a quick start guide. You got a manual here. It looks really thick and nice, but it's really one of the ones you flip it over. It's in 40 different languages. Really is not shit of a manual. I got to say, I'm a little disappointed. This TV has a lot of complex settings and things. It would be nice to have, like, little descriptions of settings to see what they do so you understand them. No, fuck you. Thanks a lot, Panasonic. Here we have the remote for the TV. And I got to say, I like it a lot. The buttons are laid out real nice. I used to kind of make fun of Panasonic remotes because I thought they had these big, you know, buttons and numbers and shit like that. It looked like it looked like them phones for old people with the giant numbers and shit so they can read it. But I got to say, it actually is nice in the dark and shit, man. You can feel it around, know what you're doing and shit. It's got all the buttons you need. Like this button right here, man, it doesn't matter what you're watching. You just hit this fucking button to turn anything you're watching into 3D. Fucking, you know, home screen apps. If you want to go to your internet bullshit. It, let's say you're a Netflix junkie, you just love streaming, streaming, streaming. Red button right there. Netflix fucking button. Boop! Fucking right there. You can switch over to SD or maybe you hook a hard drive up. Boom! Watch your fucking little pirated videos and shit there. Lots of shit. That's, you know, there's a lot of complicated things you can do with TV. And I gotta say, this remote does a good fucking job of letting you get to that shit real quick. Alright, here's the back of this big monstrous TV. Here's where the power goes in. Here's all your information, like serial number. My set was manufactured April 2013. It's like mid-May right now, so shit's still pretty new. 
All the connectors are over here on the right side. Here we have the SD card thing. You pop in there. You want to watch photos, videos, whatever you want to do. USB. You want to hook up a hard drive or some other device. Here you got three HDMI ports. Obviously, you're going to hook up your Blu-ray player. Down here we got the old school, you know, like stereo sound, video component, all that shit. If you're still using the old coax cable, antenna cable in. If you want to plug in the hardwired connection for the internet, Ethernet's right here to plug in. So that's pretty much all there is on the back side of it. As you can see, the TV is very thin. They made plasmas a lot thinner now. Let's say it's, I don't know, maybe, it's hard to say because it's curved, but at the most, an inch and a half deep, very thin TV. I know there's some LEDs that are thinner and shit, but, you know, they don't have the black levels that a plasma does. The only thing that's weird is all the inputs on the side, but that's so people can mount it flush against the wall and shit. This base is going to be very fucking dusty. I want to dust this shit off every day. This TV, a lot of people bitch about this silver trim online saying it's so ugly. To be honest, like I noticed it in the pictures of it before I bought the TV, but once I got it, I don't even see it. But maybe it's because I have a white wall, it kind of blends in. I just see the picture that's on the TV and shit. Like here's the app screen. I mean, to be honest, all this shit I could care less about. All I want is my fucking YouTube. So watch all, all you motherfuckers out there, watch our shit, and you also got channels, this is where I'm gonna be watching your channels now. Fucking Philip, and fucking Ivan, all you fucking guys, B-Movie Mike, all you motherfuckers gonna be watching all your channels on this big ass screen now. So you can see this ain't a fucking whiz bang whatever, it takes a little while to load up. Takes a while to fucking the YouTube search is clunky as usual. If you ever use the PS3, YouTube search is very similar. But here you can find people's videos of B Movie Mike right here reviewing dog soldiers. I gotta say, even on a giant fucking screen, man, this YouTube fucking video is good quality, I think, man. It's fucking awesome. So, yeah, all you fucking guys out there with your channels, man, I'm gonna be watching all your guys' shit on here. It's gonna be fucking awesome. So that's it, man, for my new TV. As I get to, you know, maybe I'll make a review or something. Maybe I'll do another video just, you know, once I really get set in and get it all broken in and shit and get the settings the way I like and start reviewing movies. You know, pretty much state of the art for right now. You know, whenever 4K, whatever comes out, I'll jump on that. But for now, you know, fucking awesome. So look forward to all the future reviews I'm going to be doing on this TV. I'm sure it's going to be showing all the flaws and them shitty DVDs and shitty Blu-rays. So all you fuckers out there putting out substandard fucking Blu-rays and shit, be careful, man. The goat's going to fucking put his eagle eye on your bullshit. So that's it, man. Thanks for watching this fucking video. Uh, fucking if you got some cool TVs and shit that you like, maybe you make a video or just put in some comments you know, as a response or whatever, do a comment. Tell me about whatever TVs you guys got that you're proud of and shit. So... This one looks like a winner so far. Fucking I'm looking forward to watching some shit on it.